Hello, hello. Welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. All the new folks, welcome, welcome. My name is Laya. Welcome to this class for stress relief. This is going to be an accessible yoga class, meaning I will be offering you different options and you can choose what works for you. The classes that I create are designed for folks to come into the space however they are. I want you to make the practice absolutely yours. This is one of the joys of practicing online. You are invited to do what works for you and leave the rest. Use props when you want to, push yourself when you want to, chill when you want to. The importance of the practice is to help you tap into how you feel and help you realign. Today we'll be focusing on stress relief and I think it's a great time to kind of let go of the stresses of the day today, ups and downs and just, you know, all the to-dos know that everything that I say are just offerings for you to explore, try what you like and leave the rest. This is a space for you to create, breathe and let go of some of the stress of this week. I invite you to lie down on your back to get started. You could stretch out all the way or maybe you bring your feet to the floor as wide as your mat or as wide as your hips or a little wider. And then you can allow your knees to rest toward one another. And your arms could rest next to your body or maybe on the belly. You could also take your arms out to the sides or overhead. And just give yourself a moment to move your head side to side, to wiggle your fingers and your toes. becoming aware of the space that you're in and then slowly bringing yourself to stillness. Let your gaze soften down or maybe you close your eyes. And take a deep inhalation through the nose. Open your mouth and sigh it out, maybe making sound. Ha. <sighs> Again, inhale through the nose. Out through the mouth. <sighs> One more inhale. And exhale. <sighs> Notice your entire body on the ground. Notice the sensations that arise as you find yourself arriving into this practice. Notice any tension, discomfort, pain. But also notice what feels good. What parts of your body feel relaxed or open, pleasant to inhabit, to breathe into, to observe. Take a deep inhalation through the nose. Side out. <sighs> Again, inhale, expanding the belly, the rib cage, the chest. Open your mouth and let go. <sighs> One more, just like that. Deep breath in. Fill up your entire body, front to back, side to side, top to bottom. Let it go. Begin to stretch your arms overhead and your legs away from you, extending your entire body. Give yourself a full body stretch. Point your toes, stretch through the fingertips, and as you inhale, I invite you to squeeze as many muscles of your body as you can become aware of. So toes, ankles, legs, thighs, hips, core, arms, include your face, tighten, 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 tighten. And on your exhalation, relax your entire body to the earth. Feel free to do that one more time. Inhale to stretch and tighten, 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 tighten. Exhale to relax. 
Feel your back body grounding toward the earth a bit more. Let yourself be supported. Let yourself be present. Breathe in. Breathe out. Plant your feet flat on the floor. Hips distance apart. Knees facing up toward the ceiling. And notice here if there's a big gap on your low back. Press it gently toward the floor a bit more. Let yourself remain here, or as you inhale, bring your right knee toward your chest. You can let the weight of the leg be sufficient and you can remain here, or maybe you interlace your hands under your right thigh or maybe over your right shin, gently squeezing the right knee toward the chest a little, and maybe finding a little bit of movement through your right ankle, maybe through your right hip, maybe a little bit of both. That is what your breath is like as you find this movement. And if you're creating circles, make sure that first you go one way and then the other. One more breath, inhale. And on your exhalation, release the right foot next to the left. Knees face up toward the ceiling. This time bring your palms next to your body. Arms are lengthened, press down through the palms and the feet. Maybe stay here. Or on your next inhalation, feel free to lift your hips a little bit up toward the ceiling and your chest up toward your chin, opening the front body. One more breath here, inhale. And on your exhalation, slowly lower your hips back down. If you lifted them, again, making sure that your entire back connects to the ground. On your next inhalation, draw your left knee toward the chest. You can hug it in by itself or with your hands. Maybe you interlace your hands over the shin or underneath the knee. If stillness serves you, remain there. Otherwise, find some movement, whether that's side to side or in circles, whether that's your ankle or your hip or a little bit of both, it's up to you. Let the breath and the movement harmonize with one another even if it's just for this one breath. One more inhale. And on your exhalation, lower your left foot back down to the floor next to the right. Press down through your feet. Your arms could stay next to your body again. Or perhaps as you lift your hips and inhale, your arms could lift overhead. Stretch and lift your hips high or as high as you want. And on your exhalation, lower your hips down and allow your arms to stay overhead or maybe bring your arms out to the sides in a T or in cactus. It might depend on the space that you have or what feels best in your body. And then heel to your feet as wide as your mat once again. Press down through your low back so it remains grounded and your core starts to engage. Inhale. And on your exhalation, start to surrender your knees toward the left. You don't have to go all the way. Just go as far as feels good until you find sensation that serves you. On your inhalation, come back through center. And on the exhalation, take your knees to the right. Go as far as feels good, keeping your left shoulder grounded. Inhale, come back through center. Now you could start to move from side to side, or perhaps this time as you take your knees to the left, you choose to remain there. If this is sufficient, stay. If you want to increase the sensation a little bit, consider crossing your left ankle over your right outer thigh, and that may change the sensation. But again, keep your shoulders down and your core slightly engaged so that you don't arc your back a lot. Perhaps you're moving side to side, that's absolutely valid. What would allow you right now to be a little bit more in your body and a little bit less in your head? If you're on the left side, feel free to uncross the ankle if you crossed it. Inhale, come back through center. And on the exhale, take the knees to the right. And this time, time stay there. there. Maybe cross the ankle, maybe not. Maybe not. Consider, Consider what you need on that side. side. If you're moving from one side to the other again, can you harmonize the breath and the movement, letting the breath be the guiding force and the movement just a product of it?
one more breath wherever you are, whether you're moving or in stillness. And on your next inhalation, slowly bring your knees back through center. Align your hips back to the center if they slightly came off. And then slowly start to lift your feet off the floor. Keep your knees as wide as you want. And you could once again hug underneath the knees, maybe over the shins. Draw the knees to the center of the chest or wide toward the shoulders, whatever you rather. And just find a little bit of movement side to side. Or you could also bring your hands to your kneecaps and take circles. Maybe the circles take both knees the same direction a few times and then the other. Or perhaps you choose to rotate the knees in opposite directions first one way and then the other. Notice what arises as you are here. What kind of thoughts are you allowing to become important and take you away from the present? One more breath, inhale. And on your exhalation, start to lower your feet and then rotate toward either side, coming to a fetal position. You can use your bottom arm as a pillow and curl in a bit. Just let yourself breathe here for a breath or two. And then slowly, at your own pace, start to press yourself all the way up. Coming to a seated position. Maybe you take a moment to wiggle your seat from side to side. Letting your spine lengthen. If you feel like your hips are rolling back a lot, feel free to grab your block or maybe a blanket and sit on it so that elevates your hips a bit. And let your hands rest on your lap or your knees. Relax your shoulders down and back. Lengthen your neck. Inhale. And on your exhalation, bring your right ear to the right shoulder. Stay there or extend your left arm out to the side to kind of shift the sensation a bit. And notice that maybe if you lift or lower the arm, the sensation changes. Also, lowering or lifting your chin may change the sensation. One more breath wherever you are. Inhale. And exhale. If your arm is lifted, lower it down, bring your neck to neutral, deep breath in. Exhale, bring the other ear to the shoulder. Stay there or extend the opposite arm. Maybe move the chin up and down until you find the sensation you're seeking. But whatever you do, breathe. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Lower your arm, bring your neck to neutral. Inhale, lift your shoulders up toward your ears. As you do so, make fists with your hands. Maybe curl your toes and once again, tighten, 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 tighten. Exhale to relax. Inhale, lift your shoulders up. Exhale, this time roll them back and down. Do that a couple more times. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, roll them back and down. One more, breathe in and breathe out. Feel the length of your spine. Inhale, take your arms out and up. Stretch, reach through your fingertips. Interlace your hands overhead and then flip your palms up toward the ceiling. Keep your sitting bones grounded, your spine long. Your shoulders could lift up a little, little or you can let your elbows be a little softer and your shoulders a little bit more down. It's up to you. Inhale. And on the exhalation, let yourself lean a little bit to the left, opening the right side body. Draw your left rib cage forward and your right rib cage back, and maybe your gaze goes over to the right as you keep the extension and the opening through the right side body. Inhale back through center, fine length. Exhale, take the stretch to the other side again. This time, right rib cage a little bit forward, left rib cage back, maybe the left or the gaze goes to the left. And on your next inhalation, come back through center. Release your fingertips. And as you bring your arms down, make circles with your wrists. Feel one way, and then a few the other. Release your hands on your lap or your knees, or perhaps you bring one hand to your abdomen and one hand to your heart. Soften your gaze or close your eyes. 
And just for a moment, notice whatever you notice. Not just what's going on around you, but also what's going on within you. Your heartbeat, the expansion and contraction of the breath, perhaps the flow of energy. And I invite you to consider now something that has recently brought you just a little bit of stress. It doesn't have to be something major. I said a little bit of stress, a little bit of discomfort. Take a deep breath in. Sigh it out, making sound. Ha. <sighs> Again, inhale. Side out. Ha. One more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Ha. Release your hands. Let your eyes remain closed or open them up. Inhale, reach both arms all the way up. Palms unite overhead. And on the exhalation, draw your fingertips down and in front of you. And then lower your hands down in front and perhaps you roll forward toward a child's pose. Perhaps you bring your legs to one side and then you bring yourself toward a child's pose. Bringing your big toes toward one another and your knees a little bit wider. And you can send your hips back toward the heels if that serves you. Or you could also bring a block in front of you or two even. And prioritize sticking your forehead down. You could also use your arms as a pillow. And you can stay in stillness or let yourself gently move from side to side, breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. One more inhale and exhale. On your next inhalation, extend your arms forward if they're not already there. Coming up to your fingertips and lift your chest up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Thread your right arm under. And then you can take your forehead down or you can take your right ear down. It could be to the ground or again, it could be to your block. So maybe your forehead is on the block or maybe your right ear is on the block and your left arm can remain extended. And just breathe here. Notice where you can soften. One more breath. And on your next inhalation, slowly lift your head. Extend your right arm forward. Take a moment to notice how your shoulders, your arms, your spine feel. Breathe in. And as you breathe out this time, thread your left arm under the right, and perhaps you take the forehead down to the block or the floor, which is a different sensation than taking the left ear down and gazing to the right. One's not better than the other, one's not more advanced than the other. Different sensations, that's all. What do you choose? What do you need? What serves you? What creates more space for you to soften into and release tension and stress? One more breath here. And then slowly lifting your forehead or your ear up, extend your left arm in front of you. If there's a prop in front, move it back to the side and then press yourself up and away from your child's pose. Align your knees underneath your hips and just give yourself a moment here to mobilize through the hips and the body to release any extra tension. So maybe you take a couple of circles with your hips one way and then the other. And if you wanted to take a little bit more of an active posture, you could walk your hands slightly forward and then tuck your toes and then lift your hips up and back for a downward dog and feel free to find movement here. But I'm gonna choose to stay in tabletop today. You do what works for you, yeah? Breathe in and breathe out. A Couple more breaths wherever you find yourself engaging in movement or stillness. 
considering all the effort that you've been putting in today and every day before and how now you just you can just give yourself some time to release and let go breathe in and breathe out feel free to remain in tabletop or in downward facing dog and on your inhalation take your right leg behind you if your left knee is on the floor you can choose to float your toes or not if your left knee is not on the floor your toes kind of have to float yeah breathe in and as you breathe out turn your toes to the right and bend your right knee as if you were wanting to kick the right heel toward the glute you can stay there maybe take a couple of circles with your right hip one way and then the other extend your right leg behind you once again inhale and on the exhalation bring your right knee toward your right wrist and then bring your right shin diagonally in front of your left leg now you can choose to extend your left leg behind you or you could choose to bring your right hip to the floor and bring your left inner leg to the side yeah one is deer pose the other one is pigeon one's not better than the other there's this difference you could grab one of your blocks or even both and bring them in front lift your chest to breathe in and as you breathe out you can let yourself lower down and stay or maybe you wave up and down a couple of times as you inhale you lift your chest and as you exhale you lower one more inhale lift up and as you exhale this time lower down and find where you want to stay. Maybe that means your elbows rest on your blocks or the floor. Maybe your forehead comes down. Notice where the sensation that you're seeking is found. A space where you can breathe and relax into instead of pushing into or fitting yourself into. Where you can spaciously breathe and exist just as you are. There's enough places in your life where you have to put in extra effort. Let this be a space of softening. And on your next inhalation, if you lower down, start to lift yourself back up, lift your chest. If your left leg is behind you, start to bring it around. If your left leg is on the side, also start to bring it around. Take a moment to ground your sitting bones in front of you. And you could extend your left leg on the floor in front, keep the knee bent as well. Or you could interlace your, your hands underneath your left thigh. And then from here, perhaps you play with extending your left leg off the floor. So again, maybe you're there or maybe your left leg is on the floor in front of you and you keep your spine long just for a couple of breaths. We'll fold forward in a moment. So stay with your chest extended, whether with your leg on the floor or your hands interlaced behind your left leg. One more breath, inhale. And on your exhalation, now this time, if your left leg is lifted, lower it down. And once again, you can keep your left knee as bent as you want to. Lengthen through your spine as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, walk your hands forward. You could do the same with blocks if you wanted to give your arms a little more length. And then keep walking your hands with the blocks or without forward. Once you have found the length that you're seeking, then let your chest relax over the left leg and your head relax down. And perhaps from there you choose to extend your left leg, but it's not necessary. Two more breaths. Noting, noticing where your mind goes and just returning to your breath and to what's here again and again. And on your next inhalation, slowly rise up. Bring your right hand behind your right hip and look over your right shoulder. Take your left arm straight up and stay or maybe, maybe press into your right hand and your left heel and lift your hips off the floor, extending your left arm overhead and opening through the front body. Deep breath in. Reach and stretch. And on your exhalation, slowly bring yourself all the way down. Now bring your legs around. And bring yourself back to your tabletop. Or if you rather, you could bring yourself back to downward dog. Breathing in and out. 
On your inhalation, inhale, take your left leg up. Turn your toes to the left and bend your knee. Stay or take a couple of circles one way. And then the other, keeping the stability of the tabletop or the downward dog. And then extend your left leg back up. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, left knee to your left wrist, left shin diagonally in front of the right leg. And then either stretch your right leg behind you or bring your left hip to the floor and the knee to the side. It's your choice. You could stay with your chest lifted. You could lower yourself down or you could choose to wave up and down. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. And exhale this time. Let yourself stay wherever you want to stay, whether that's up in the middle, all the way down, with props, without. Just letting yourself settle here for a breath or two. Observing what this sensation brings about, not only physically, but mentally and emotionally as well. One more breath. On your next inhalation, slowly rise up. Surrender your left hip toward the floor. Bring your right leg around. And again, you can choose to stretch the right leg in front of you as you bring your left foot to your inner right thigh, lengthening your spine here and staying here for a few breaths. Or maybe you slide your right heel closer and you can interlace your hands under your right thigh or maybe you slide them up toward the calf or the ankle and extend your right leg as little or as much as you want, keeping your spine long. Breathe. One more breath, inhale. And on your exhalation, let your right leg come down. Left foot is on your inner right thigh again. Lengthen through your spine, breathe in. And as you breathe out, walk your hands forward, framing your right leg, keeping your spine as long as possible. It might be tempting to bring your nose to, or your, yeah, your nose to your knee, but I'm not super interested in that. I'm more interested in the length of your spine forward toward your toes. And then if from there you wanna relax the head, go for it. What sensations do you feel through the legs, the hips, the low back? Where are you holding on to unnecessary tension? And on your next inhalation, slowly bring yourself up. Bring your left hand behind your left hip, look over your left shoulder and stay, or reach your right arm up. And on your next inhalation, press into your left hand, lift your hips, lift your chest, stretch up. Maybe gaze to your right hand. Inhale. And on your exhalation, slowly bring yourself all the way back down. Extend both legs in front of you and shake them out for a moment. Maybe your knees bent and you sway them side to side. It's absolutely up to you. Hmm. And then I invite you to choose here if you want to lie down. That's what I will do. But you could also choose to stay seated. If you stay seated, start to take a twist over the right. If you're lying down, bring your knees toward your chest and then take your knees toward the left. Ground your right shoulder, taking a twist. Breathe deeply into your right lung, wherever you are, whether that's seated or on the floor. And then eventually bringing your either torso or knees back through center, depending on where you are. Inhale. And on the exhalation, take the knees to the other side or take the torso twist to the other side. If you're with me, if you're seated, you'll twist your torso to the left. If you're lying now, you'll take your knees to the right.
Notice where you can soften even if it's just 1%. And then your next inhalation, bring yourself back through center. If you're lying down, maybe you stretch yourself out into Shavasana or any other position in which you want to rest for a few moments. If you are seated, make yourself comfy into the seat. Maybe once again, you grab a meditation cushion or a block or a blanket to sit on. Rest your hands on your lap or your knees, or again, maybe bring one hand to your belly, or both. But wherever you are, do any last wiggles that you need or want. And then bring yourself to stillness. Letting this gentle movement of today really expand into every fiber of your being. Allowing the energy that you created to work its magic. To help you let go and relax. Releasing all that built up energy. The stress. So breathe in deeply. And breathe out completely, emptying your entire body. Breathe in deeply. And breathe out completely. If you have more time today, I invite you to stay here, resting, breathing for a few more minutes. If it's time for you to move on and re-engage with whatever activities you have going, I invite you to stay in stillness, just as you are for one more breath, reminding yourself and your nervous system that it's okay to rest, that it's okay to pause, that it's absolutely okay to just be. Breathe in. Breathe out. And at your own pace, in your own way, start to bring movement back into your body. Wiggling your fingers, moving your neck, Stretching out, yawning if you want to, make sound if that serves you and it's okay in the space that you are. <sighs> if you're lying down, take a few breaths, a few moments to come to a seat. Letting yourself get comfy. If you've been sitting the same way for a while, maybe you switch the cross of the legs. Lengthen your spine, relax your shoulders. And bring now your index and middle finger right between your eyebrows. And gently close your right nostril with your thumb, very gently, so you're not fully closing it. Inhale through the left nostril. Exhale through the left nostril. In through the left. Out through the left. In through the left. Out through the left. Two more. Good. 
Last one. Releasing the hand, breathing through both nostrils. And breathe out through both nostrils. And for a moment, let yourself just be. Notice how you feel in your body. Allowing yourself to perhaps linger a little bit longer in the space between one thought and the next. And perhaps letting yourself consider that you've done everything that you could with what you had. At every moment, up to this moment, can that be enough? Can you rest in that knowing that you are enough? Whether you got all your to-do list done or you didn't get started at all. You are worthy because you are. Inhale in that truth, letting it fill you up, front to back, side to side, top to bottom. Hold at the top. And very slowly letting it go, releasing any resistance. And I invite you now to repeat within or without. Thank you, thank you, thank you to yourself, to your body, to your capacity to be as you are, and to learn and to grow. May you not take a single breath for granted. Once you feel complete, you can start to blink your eyes open if they were closed. Bring movement back into your fingers and your toes, move your neck, stretch out, whatever you need. I hope that you have enjoyed this yoga practice for stress relief and relaxation. I hope that you've enjoyed this 30 minute class, that you're a little bit more relaxed, that you let go of some of the stress that you might have been carrying. Thank you all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Until then, Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and be well. Bye, everybody.